you're live. <laughs> All right, oh, what's up? Welcome back. Happy end of the month, I guess. Uh, happy Easter to everyone out there that celebrates Easter. I see a lot of you guys in the comments are, are Easter folk. Um, yeah, end of the month. Figured we'd actually get this one done since we didn't do the last one until the middle of this month. But we've got a few packages here. And man, we've got one from Jacob Hamilton who sent in the tarantula on the last live stream. So I'm a little bit worried about what's in this box. I guess we'll see. Uh, but we'll get into those. We got four packages and this one's very fragile. So I'm kind of curious what we got going on there. But uh, I'll go ahead and set these down. Knock them out. But anyways, yeah, happy Easter, everybody. Chip Woods, Mike should drink Bach beer in the spring. Bach beer, are you talking about like Shiner Bach or just like a dark beer? I'm not a huge fan of dark beers. I'll drink them every once in a while, but uh, they're really not my thing. Prefer to like your average lager or, you know, I do drink a lot of light beers. I've got a seltzer we're going to crack open because I enjoy seltzers every once in a while. Not the, these are about the only ones that I found that I like. And I've had them on videos before the high noon uh pineapple i like these a lot and they're they're about the same percent alcohol as a beer so it's not like super strong but it's the only way only one that i found that actually tastes appropriate dark beer when they clean the vats i mean i'd give it a whirl but i'd probably only have one of them you know CK Treasures, no, the, that's, uh, that was a gift that was sent in. I was not in the Navy. I got an Air Force sticker on my cooler that somebody sent me, so I get that question, too, if I was in the Air Force. Look at that color on that, boy. <laughs> it's a seltzer. It looks like water. Actually, put the rest of that back in there since you can close them, which is another nice thing about those in camping. Cheers, everybody. Sherry from Ohio, it's good to have you here. Yeah, guys, you got to hit the, you got to have that little notification bell hit. Um, so if something like this, when I do these, you'll get the notification because I usually only like I'll, I'll put the live up maybe half an hour to 45 minutes typically before we actually go live. So it's good to have that. And then you'll always get notified when I upload a video. But that's also something that I wanted to talk to you guys about. There's a couple hundred of you in here. So I made that video at the beginning of the January that said we were slowing down a little bit and I was going to do one video a month for the next 90 days. Well, March has now come to an end. Uh, so into April, I would like to hear what you guys want me to do as far as upload schedule. I'm thinking either Thursday and Sunday. So you guys always know when the videos are going to be out or we do every fourth day. So it'd be like if I put the next video out on Thursday, it'd be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You know, you'd have one every four days. I might put a poll up on the community tab or something. I suppose I could do it here. Nick's Weather and Oddities, spending money, enjoyed the Missouri adventure. Look forward to more. Cheers, Nick. Thank you for the donation. Robert Sellers, 90 days of uploads. I don't know if I could do that straight. The Dorsey Way, time for another thunderstorm hailstone video. Well, I went out uh, end of last week and I caught some rain and snow. So I've got a rain and snow video coming for you guys. It's actually, I enjoyed it, made a good, good dinner that I enjoyed. And I found an old foundation of a house. So it was a pretty, pretty cool adventure. So we'll have that one coming out. Uh, and I'm trying to decide if I just put that out tomorrow on the first of the month, which I'm sure you guys would enjoy, or if we do... Uh, stick to Thursday and then start like the new schedule from there. Um, I wonder if I can, I think I can do a poll down here. Lon Bowers. Cheers, Lon. Appreciate the donation. Happy Easter. Uh, let me see if I can do this Thursday and Sunday or every four days.
Well, this is dumb. It only gives you like a yes or no option. Add option. Uh, oh, there we go. Start poll. I think it gives you like a yes and no option on there. Yeah. Uh, but if you guys want to hit that poll, I'll leave that up throughout the live stream if you guys want to check that out. I'm always out of breath because I'm a smoker. And also you guys don't realize that there's a lot of times I'll think I'm running around to set up and set up the camera. Then I walk back up there and I walk down to get the shot or whatever. So like there's a lot more movement that you probably don't see. Like I'll get to a campsite and, you know, I'm setting up the camera. I do the drive-in shots. I get a few different angles. Many times you guys only see a couple of those angles. So I'm out running around and then boom, I start the video and I'm out of breath. But no, I'm also a heavy smoker. I smoke uh, swishers and I know that's not good for me, but is what it is. Smoke and Sensei, when's the next band video? Hopefully within the next month or so. I'd like to get it back out. Um, I think our weather is probably good for it at this point and we have had a couple decent rain so i'm pretty sure like all the all the junk is off the roads all the salt salt and whatnot i think uh i definitely want to do an oil change before we take it out this spring i suppose like i don't remember how many miles are on it since i did the last oil change but then we've also like it should have the transmission service i didn't do that when i bought it so i don't know when it was done last and then rear diff fluid uh, should be changed out. And then I'd also like to do uh, spark plug wires. Did I do the plugs already? I can't remember, but plugs and wires, like do some more of the, the good maintenance stuff before we start taking it out. Jay Wallace, Travis is good. Travis is, keeps telling me he's going to start a channel. Like he's, I think he bought a camera. Like, so we'll let him get started on that and see if he, See if he uh, actually does it or not. So you might be able to watch Travis. <coughs> Devin, having a drink for Crazy Neighbor. Yeah, cheers to Crazy Neighbor. Rest in peace, man. It was always cool to see him on Steve's videos and the adventures that they did. So, uh, yeah, rest in peace, Crazy Neighbor. Uh, Jay Ulrich. I think I'm getting about 18 miles to the gallon. We talked about this in the last video. I haven't adjusted my speedo yet, so my mileage isn't, you know, reading correctly. Uh, so what I'm seeing on the dash is wrong. And then since it's all electronic and, like, the mileage isn't adding up exactly appropriately, calculating it by hand wouldn't give me a perfect answer anyways. But it's still, like, it's still doing way better than the Silverado did. So I'm happy with it. Kathy, Merge is on the way. Like, I know I've said that in every damn live stream, but we're actually working on it now. We've got a handful of designs already done, uh, but not probably not exactly what I want to put out for the first round. Like, we've got a catch and cook thing, so I need to do a catch and cook one. Like, we've got stuff. Uh, just kind of finally ironing it out. It'll probably be at least another 90 days uh, to, you know, get everything set up, get stock in figure out how I'm going to do like point of sale and mailing and all that kind of stuff. And honestly, where I'm going to store a lot of this stuff at. So, uh, but we'll get that stuff done. We'll definitely do koozies. Uh, somebody asked about 5X shirts, 402 Ventures. For the first round, we're probably not going to do any shirts or hoodies. It'll be stuff that's all like one size fit all. Like it'll be hats or stickers, koozies, things like that. And then we'll we'll roll into uh, wearables like that that require multiple sizes. I'm going to try to do this, like stock all the stuff and ship it. So we're not doing like pre-orders where you guys have to wait for that type of thing. Um, it's not going to be like print to order stuff like that. There's companies that you can work with, but uh, as far as like print to order type stuff goes. But you got to sign on for like. I'm going to sell X amount in a month. And if you don't sell all those shirts in a month, you owe them money. And that's not something that we're going to do, but we'll get, we'll get stuff out. Like it, it'll be 
this summer. And then as we go into fall, we'll do like some hoodies and stocking caps and all that type of stuff. We could probably do a vest. Uh, Stored in the old rig. I wouldn't want that stuff all sitting outside. It's got to be inside. And we'll put it all in like totes and stuff so it doesn't get dusty as it's sitting in the house and things like that. But we'll do all, all sorts of things like that. Jacob, my wife has a cricket machine where she's got a cameo, I guess, which is like an older version of pretty much the same thing. Uh, but I don't know, like, I don't have any idea how to use that thing. I suppose I could figure that out and like start cutting up stickers and stuff on that myself, but, uh, it'd probably be easier to do, you know, just have that done by a professional chip woods, white shirts. I don't know. Like, I think I've worn a white shirt one time in a video. Bonnie, I can't, the boat's in the, the boat's in a storage unit and I am probably going to sell that this year at some point, but definitely don't use it enough. The problem is like, I'm going to get it running and, and use it a couple of times before I sell it. And then I'm not going to want to sell it because it runs again, but that's in a storage unit. The van is in the garage along with a couple of motorcycles. Like I just don't have the room for stuff. Brad Wilson, that's a, it's a vodka. Pineapple seltzer. Quaity beer would be cool, but I'll have to, you know, like, that would be be really cool to do or, you know, any kind of thing like that. But you got, you know, I'd have to find a, a company that would work with me on that. And then you got distribution, like, you know, it would be, it'd be a Midwest thing. So there's a lot of you guys that probably wouldn't be able to get the stuff anyways, because shipping alcohol is, you know, I don't know how all that stuff works. Beer mugs would be cool. All that. Raccoon hats. Like striped raccoon hats, that would be the, that would be kind of cool. Alex, yes, the waffle sandwiches are good, man. Give it a give it a whirl. You can do a lot of stuff in a waffle maker. Like you can just put, you can crack an egg in a waffle maker and cook an egg in a waffle maker like that. We've done. I don't know if I've done it on a video, but you can get cinnamon rolls like that come in the roll or whatever, like the Pillsbury cinnamon rolls, and you pop those out of there, and you can set those little cinnamon rolls in there. And cook them on there and then open it up and drizzle the frosting on. And that's really good. I used to do that around the house quite a bit. But uh, bottle openers would be cool. Victor, could I build a small garage for more storage? Not here. Like the way my property lines are, I couldn't put a third stall on my garage. I'm kind of stuck. Like, like that's an issue that I'm running into is I've got you know, two trucks in the driveway of my wife's car right now. There's a little trailer sitting there also. So it's like, you know, the wife's tired of the truck just being stuck right there. So we're going to, we need to get it running again, but it's like, there's, I don't have anywhere else to put it. I don't want to leave my stuff street parked all the time when I do have space in the driveway. So is what it is. Gene Coon, the uh, the boat's cool. The thing is, like, you guys all want to see me camp on the boat. It's a 14-foot with a, with a side console. So there's literally nowhere, I don't think, on that thing where I could lay flat. Maybe if I squeeze myself between the console and the side of the boat where, like, the, the locker is right here. But it's going to be, like, super uncomfortable. Like, that's something that we'll probably do before I sell it is try to spend the night on it, like, spend 24 hours on it or something but uh ideally like a pontoon boat would be great suburban girl thinking about turning your 03 suburban into an overland vehicle do it i mean pop the seats out the back lay down a mattress and take your basic stuff and you're you're rolling you don't need to start with a lot of junk but cheers thanks for the donation it's a lot simpler to to get started than a lot of people think you really don't need much like you know, if you're going tent camping, what do you take? And you just treat it as a hard side tent, you know, that's kind of how the truck is. It's just a little, little hard tent. Basically, you don't have to have a ton of stuff. Pirate Peter rooftop tent for the boat. If you tried to put a rack on that thing with the tent, dude, get up there. That boat would tip over. It's, it's a, you know, it's a little 14 foot V bottom. It's fairly narrow. You can stand on the front, but you got to be pretty good with your balance because that thing could just launch you into the water at any second, to be honest with you.
Yeah, hit the like button, y'all. 400 of you in here. 125 likes. What's up with that? This is what I'm drinking, y'all. Somebody, somebody said water. These are about the only seltzers I like. But we do have a couple of natty lights in there. Onyx, upcoming trips. I'd like to get out for the eclipse, but I've been watching weather. Uh, you know, you can't really pay too much attention to the forecast this far out, but like it really kind of depends on what the weather turns into for that. If it's going to be cloud cover everywhere, I don't know if I'll worry about it, but we'll see. And I've got some other stuff planned out, but I don't want to spill all the beans. Rich, cheers, Rich. Thanks for the donation. <sighs> Victor, the boat's got a 25 horsepower two-stroke Merc. The boat's like a 97 and the motor's a 98 or vice versa. It's a decent little boat, but, you know, I'm paying, I'm paying to store it at this point and I don't use the thing, so it's kind of silly to have it. Yeah, they're Italian 62 cigars. That sounds tasty. Uh, yeah, state of emergency for the eclipse. A lot of that is is purely because these towns that are that the eclipse is going over, like they're you know not to disrespect any of them, but there are a lot of like one horse towns or one stoplight towns, you know, that might have one little convenience store and a tiny little grocery store, and you're gonna have five thousand people show up there. It's gonna be a mess. Uh, so you know, having people there to kind of manage it and handle that stuff. Can't blame them for what they're doing. I was at, like, I think we talked about it in the previous live stream. I was at the last eclipse that came right over Nebraska in, I think, 2014. And it was it was kind of a mess. Uh, it took us a while to get home, and we took back roads and everything like that. Got to hang out with Bill Nye. There's a video on here of that Bill Nye interview or something. Niagara Falls, yeah, that would be a decent viewing spot, but it's also a really, I know that's going to be a busy area. I'd love to just avoid all the clouds. Like, I thought I'd just go find a spot out on a country road and park and watch it and then go worry about finding somewhere to sleep that night. Like, I definitely, you know, could sleep at a truck stop because I know there's going to be, like, I'm betting all the campgrounds in the areas are going to be booked. I'd rather avoid the crowds on all of that stuff. Hoover 76, you ain't wrong. Dennis Buddha, watched three of the videos while you were in Japan. Keep up the good content. Nice older Japanese man sitting next to me. Subscribe to your channel, too. That's awesome. Cheers, man. Appreciate the donation. I don't know when I'll get back to, to Wisconsin. I got to get back up there and get that bumper up to Travis that I got for him. We've got some trips planned, a couple of trips planned this year, but we'll get to it. Chris, I just haven't seen it. We were supposed to go ice fishing this year, and that just never happened. I think at this point, he's probably back to uh, back to work full-time because he always has the winters off with his job. So We do have some packages, y'all. We'll pop one of these open. Let's see. Steve F., Tucum, Tucumcari, New Mexico, I think, if that sounds right. New Mexico. Retta G. Cheers, Retta. Appreciate the donation. Pirate Pete, I don't think I've ever been to Idaho, honestly. That's on the list of things to do this year. Like, I know we've talked about it multiple times, but I built the camper in the old truck, I built the beds in 2015. And when we built that, my wife and I immediately took off for two weeks and we went up into like Glacier National Park and stuff. So I'd kind of like to retrace that trip this year and get up into that area. But I also would really like to get to Maine and stuff too. So we'll see. And Florida, like, I don't know. Dude, I got a lot of places I'd like to go this year. And we got the new rig, so we'll get that done. Uh, 
I may re-edit the, the video that I haven't put out yet, but I talked about how probably going to get started on the rebuild of the new truck or like the first build in the new truck, but I ordered a mattress. Uh, I ordered a mattress the other day and, and, uh, and it's not going to be here for a while. So I don't know if I want to open this on camera, y'all. Let's see if maybe there's something else in this box. All right, we could, we could open this on camera, but I wasn't I wasn't gonna open this box on camera if that's what it was. We don't do any of that type of stuff around here on the channel, so uh, a stock off of a gun is not something that you guys need to send me. We got a couple of couple of sauces and a note, but great packaging. It fit right in there. Suburban Girl, Salt Lake City would be cool. I'd have to watch SLC Punk. If I was down there, I'd have to rent that and watch it. It's been a while since I've seen that movie. Uh, hey, man, thanks for all the videos. I've been watching you for a long time. You're the one that got me into truck camping. I have a YouTube channel now, Foot TV 5134 Anyways, this is my favorite hot sauce. Hope you like it. Foot TV. Foot TV, if you guys want to, if you can see that on there. Maybe you guys want to check that out, go ahead and check his channel out. And we've got uh, Whisker Bomb Pepper Sauce and Whisker Bomb Hot Pepper Sauce. B's and T's. We'll add these to the pile of our sauces to try. We're slowly working through all of them, though. So. Well, I appreciate it, Steve. Uh. Rex 5150. I've probably, there's probably at least like, I bet there's 20 sauces down here that are still unopened. And I've got to go through my fridge because I've probably got like 30 sauces up there that are open. Uh, and, you know, I go through some of them, but some of them are really hot. So, Ryan Landis, you're a class act. Love what you do and how humble you are. Watching me. Gives you faith in humanity. Well, it's flattering. Uh, I'll make it out to Wyoming. It's been a while since I've been there, but appreciate the donation. Did I, did I mess this up? Oh, no, it's still going. Do we have leaks in Nebraska? Like... The, isn't that a food? I don't know if that's normal to be grown here or not. Make spicy chili with each kind of hot sauce. That'd take a lot of, a lot of, a lot of doing. We could do like a chili buck bag. I, I'd like to get uh, Kelvin together with me because Kelvin already told me he'd eat that other tarantula from the last live stream, uh, and he'll try any of the hot sauces. So. Yeah, like a wild onion. I don't know if there's... I, I don't think that's natural here. Hot sauce party. Hot sauce party wouldn't be bad. There's it like... Like the homie Greg doesn't like spicy food. Oops, excuse me. Doesn't like spicy stuff. My wife will, will do like some of the really mild sauces. She's not into super spicy foods either. Uh, really, I think the only homie that I have that would be willing to do it on a regular basis is probably Kelvin. But post a picture of all the hot sauces. I should do that. I'd have to get all of them out of the fridge and then everything that's down here, dude. There's a lot of them. Justin C. Cheers, man. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Get and go. 
I'm not a fan of the Raptor grills on the trucks. I know you got one. It's not my style. Um, I mean, they fit on Raptors. I'm just not a fan of it on other stuff. To me, it's almost like like putting M badges on a non-M BMW. Like, it's just not the vibe for me. I think the factory one looks really good. I thought about doing the STX kind of appearance package with the white bumper and like the white grill surround, maybe swapping on to that at some point. But honestly, like the black grill and the black bumper have kind of grown on me at this point. And I've been told by a few people, it looks like, like it's a very official looking truck. Uh, almost, it almost looks like an undercover truck. People have told me, so it doesn't bother me that it, that it has that appearance. Keeps the, keeps the weirdos away, I guess. Sean, it's been a while since I've been up near Valentine, probably last summer. I was thinking about going out towards Merritt, uh, but isolated serenity. We're going to do something in the back seat of the new one, but I'm not going to take the back seats out. There's plenty of room in there to not pull the back seats out of that. Victor, I don't know if anybody has cracked the 23s yet. I don't know if they've been unlocked. But at this point, I don't need to tune anything on that. It'd be nice to be able to uh, to shut off the cylinder de deactivation stuff. But if you just run it in sport mode, it doesn't go into that. And then there's a program called Forescan, which you can download. Uh, and I talked about that, I think, a little bit on the last live stream. There's a bunch of changes and stuff you can go in there and make, but it's not tuning software. Mystique, I've been out to the Trail of 100 Giants. There's a video of me on here walking through the some of the redwood trees. That's like 2021, probably. It's been a while. Uh, Harry Jim, I don't know if I... I probably won't do any light bar, but I have the factory fog light cutouts on that bumper. There's that like plastic area where the factory fog light should be. And there's a couple of companies that make a nice bracket. And then you can mount two four inch pods right there on each side. So I think that's probably what I'll do. And I'll do a clear pod and a yellow pod, like a yellow fog pod. Um, I think diode dynamics might make that, which I think I'm pretty sure all dogs off road is now going to be working with them or selling some of their products. So. Instant regret, the nastiest beer I've ever drank. We, I tried a pickle one. I think it was on a live stream. Couldn't finish it. I like pickles, but the pickle beer was not good. And then I've had a, a local brewery does like a jalapeno ale. I think it's Kincader maybe that does a jalapeno beer. Not my cup of tea. I do like spicy stuff, but a spicy beer like jalapeno beer, not good. Not good. So I think those are the only two beers I've dumped out. Definitely a CB. Are you guys talking about the CB in the old truck? I'd use that every once in a while to listen to like weather forecasts and things like that or listen to the truckers. Uh, but, but CB is kind of out. Like at this point, everybody is pretty much running a GMRS radio uh, with like FRS capability also. So that's that's what I'll, I'll just get a handheld at this point. It doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to be wired in like that CB was. And then I've got the, I've got that WeBoost antenna that we put on the old truck, and I'm gonna pull that off and figure out some way to put it on the new one probably. But like I had it mounted on the roof rack, and I don't have the the roof rack on there, uh, so I don't really have an appropriate place to mount that thing. I can't run a magnetic mount on the roof because the truck's aluminum. So, Mason Newby, I think I saw one of your comments about the schedule on that. Mystique, I had some sort of spicy, I think it was like a Modelo spicy picante or Modelo picante or something like that. And that was okay, but like Bloody Mary's, not my thing either. Isolated Serenity, do I prefer the truck or the van? 
The van's cool. It is absolutely gutless on the highway with that, you know, 30 year old V6. Uh, but honestly, it's probably nice. The van is probably more enjoyable because it's, it's just one space. You don't have to get in and out and do that type of stuff. Uh, but the truck is enjoyable just because you know you can drive that thing anywhere. I have a lot of room to carry a junk in, you know, in the back seat and stuff like that. That uh, you know, if you're in the van, then everything kind of needs to be put away, or you've all of a sudden got a bunch of junk just in your living space. So there's pros and cons to both of them. I think you know a new van is probably, or a newer van is probably like your, you know, a, the ultimate rig. But it's really hard to find them in four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. And when you do, they're very expensive. So that's why trucks are nice is because you can get a cheap four-wheel drive truck. It's hard to find a cheap full-size four-wheel drive van. Guinness Buddha. Cheers. Had a beer served with sea urchin in it when you were in Tokyo? I don't know. I mean, I'd try it. I'd try it. But appreciate the donation. Mystique, you love the wife's tasted sheets. That's awesome. And I got to get some new ones for this year. Uh, IP Freely, 1977. Top five movies. That's hard to like just bust that out off the top of my head. One of my one of my really good favorites is Waterworld, which I think is on Amazon right now. That's always been one of my favorite movies. And even, you know, now I feel like I like Waterworld more than I ever did because uh, it was really before, like, like everything now. Like, there's so much AI and computer stuff in movies that you don't even realize. Like, there's a lot of movies now where they're they're dubbing them for different countries, so different languages, and the AI is moving them out, right? Like, you can't even tell that it's a dubbed movie. Uh, but, like, Waterworld, like, 90%, I think... I don't know if, if all of it, but I think 99% of those stunts and everything you see in the movie was real. It was done on a stage, uh, and I like that type of stuff. Uh, you know, like all these new like Marvel movies and stuff like that, like they're just too over the top. It's so fake. Um, you know, I can get down with Guardians of the Galaxy and stuff like that, but, you know, there's a lot of movies like it's just 90% of it is fake green screen stuff, and it's just, I feel like that's, that's kind of detrimental to the movie industry to a point, but loved Waterworld, dude. Loved Waterworld. I think a lot of people hated that. And I don't know if it did the greatest at the box office e either or not, but Waterworld's always been one of my favorites. Shawshank Redemption is a good old one. Uh, but I enjoyed it. You know, I like those, I like those like post-apocalyptic movies, like The Postman with Kevin Costner is also a good one. Uh, stuff like that. I enjoy those type of movies a lot. Jay Elrich, I'll definitely see the new Ghostbusters. I saw the, the last one too. Mad Max, see, that's a great one. Book of Eli is great. Highlander, it's been so long since I've seen Highlander, but... Pulp Fiction's great. Dances with Wolves is great. Man, I haven't seen Dances with Wolves in a long time either. Uh, Boondock Saints is good. Scarface? Dude, Scarface, see, that's one everybody loves that movie. I couldn't get past, like, the first half an hour of it. I was like, this is, it's boring. Uh, I don't know. Did I didn't enjoy Scarface at all. The Last of the Mohicans. I don't know if I've ever watched that, honestly. The Little Mermaid. I don't know. I Didn't they redo like a live action version of that one? I haven't watched that. I watched, uh, the was it the live action of the Lion King or something remake? You know, I've seen the newer ones, that type of stuff. But Jurassic Park is a great one. The first Jurassic Park. Grady Cooper, you could do Scarface word for word. Yeah, see, I just wasn't a fan of it. I don't know. It was... <coughs> to me, it was slow. <clears throat> Pineapple Express, that's a great movie. Steel Magnolias, I don't think I've seen that. Usual Suspects, I've seen. Team America, World Police. 
that's it's a decent flick, but I don't think I'd put that one in my top five. Ted, of course, Ted is a classic. Ah, super bad. Super bad's like I think that's definitely gonna have classic status. Taxi driver was all right. What do I got down here? I don't have a lot of DVDs in my personal. The, now the somebody said steel magnolias. And now the wife is like, "Oh, you gotta watch that with me." I got some chopper movies down here that most of you guys have probably never heard of. That's a good chopper flick. You might be able to find some of that on YouTube. Rad chopper movie. Yeah. That's a good one. This is a classic. I know a lot of you, that's a that's an old movie right there. Two-lane blacktop, great flick. I think this one, yeah, I've got like a, it's a box set with the book uh, that gives you a lot of like the, oh, this is a full, this is the full screenplay from the movie. So that's a good one. That's a good one. Then it's like a two or three DVD set. If you've never seen Two-lane blacktop, that's a good flick. Old school, old school movie. Chopper Town, The Sinners. These are like uh, the the movie and then the extended cut. Enjoyed these a lot. Uh, I like choppers, you know, even though I don't ride my bikes on video very often. And then what else? I don't know. I think that that's like my, the only DVDs that I have down here. Red Dawn, but the original. That's for sure. The new one was meh. Uh, I think the rest of the stuff that's down here is probably from my wife's collection. Yeah, like while you were sleeping, we've got all the Harry Potter movies. I did enjoy the Harry Potter movies. I've read all the Harry Potter books. Other than that. Yeah, there ain't, this is the only stuff that's really mine. But we don't buy DVDs really anymore. We had a bunch of VHS that we got rid of, and I regret getting rid of those. There. Right. Oh, we get us the Harry Potter nerd. I thought I thought they were good, dude. I enjoyed them. All right, we got an Amazon package. Bubba Hotep, that's not a bad flick. I've seen that. 13 Ghosts, man, it's been a long time since I've seen that movie. Uh, the Cube, The Cube, I think there's three of those now. The Cube movies are really good. And it, those might be on Netflix or Amazon right now. They're like they're trapped in this cube. Each room is a cube, and then they got to move to try to find their way out. It's a really it's kind of a, a mind mess up one. And then there's, what else is there? There was another one that I think I've talked about on here. God, I can never remember the name of it. But it's like these people get thrown into like a prison, but it's multiple different levels. And like each month you get moved to a different level, but the food comes down on a tray from the middle and it goes all the way down. So the people at the bottom, like don't get to eat. Uh, I can't remember the name of that one. 12, 12 monkeys, not seven, seven. There's the movie seven and then there's 12 monkeys, right? I feel like this is for my wife. Fix the mistakes. Tidy up. Not the wife's scissors. So it's not for my wife. Caveman Camping sent me some, some stuff for sewing. I assume he's talking about trying to fix the fact that I put the one curtain on upside down. I am not going to spend my time doing that. But we've got some sewing stuff. But I will definitely bogart these scissors and not let my wife use them. Although, 
I'm going to have to give them to my wife because these are right-handed scissors and I'm left-handed. And a seam ripper with a tape measure and spring clippers. <laughs> I appreciate it. The Platform, that's the name of that movie. The Platform is a great flick. I've watched that one a couple of times. Like, that's a good horror movie, in my opinion. Like, horror thriller. You know, the Saw movies were good. The first couple of them, I feel like. I'd be freely. I definitely have a left hand and hammer. 402 Ventures, if you want to send them my way, I wouldn't turn them down. I think it would be really cool to find an old VHS uh, 12 volt like TV that I could put in the van, like an original, one of those original little square TVs that were in those things would be really cool to have. Uh, since it's got the tape deck, I, you know, I talked about that when I got first got the van, but you know, I like going to junk stores and doing stuff like that. So you could make part of the adventures with the van to go out and find an old VHS that you could watch in the van that night, you know? It would be, it'd be an enjoyable thing. I got to find one of those TVs. I'm sure I could order one on eBay or something, but it'd have to be 12 volt. I guess I could plug it in, but. Left-handed needle. Evil Dead. I haven't seen the Evil Dead movies in a while. Baytown Outlaws. I'd be freely, I've got a couple of inverters that you can do do that stuff with, but it would just be much easier if it ran off 12 volt and then I could, you know, you don't have to worry about being plugged in or whatever. So I like using the tablet because it's just charged. Like that thing will, that'll, you know, run for six hours, eight hours or whatever. I could, I can watch multiple movies on that without having to recharge it where people have said, you know, put in a, Put in like one of those TVs and whatever, then you have to have to have a way to power that thing constantly because they, you know, it doesn't have an internal battery pack. Uh, so that's why, you know, I've always just stuck with the with the uh, the tablet. It just works well. It'd be nice to have a little bit bigger one, but yeah, you don't have to don't have to worry about having something to to run it. Uh, I've looked at some of those little like projectors that you can use and like hanging up a sheet back there but it also is just adding complexity that's unnecessary you know it'd be cool for videos or whatever like ooh, i put a screen up and you could do a video with it but i'm not going to sit there and do that every single time i want to watch a movie because if i put the screen at the back like where my feet are at then you've got that there and you can't see out the window when you're chilling there and most of the time i'm like backed up to a lake or something which is why I like having all the windows because then you can just see out and see all the cool stuff. You got your little movie playing and whatnot. But Jackery with solar panels. I mean, I could. I've got that. I've got those two battery boxes. I can run a solar panel on one of them. Uh, and yeah, solar panels can also be a huge waste of money. I know a few people that have them all permanently mounted on their vehicles and like they never use them because they'll go out for one or two nights because, you know, they've got a regular full time job and everything that they have is charged and ready to go. You know, they don't need it up there. I think, and I, you know, it's another thing I've said before. A lot of this, there's a whole lot of cosplay in this type of, uh, you know, in the overlanding world where you got to have your fucking five pieces of flare on your vehicle to make it look like an overlander. And I don't know. I said for years, I wasn't going to put anything else on the roof of the Silverado. And then I did all that. And like, I think I've used that awning five times. Um, I did carry stuff around in the box. I used the roof basket one time. And I don't even think I put that on video. It's just like, it, it's unnecessary crap to look like you're doing it all the time. Dakota made super spicy. Cheers, man. Thank you for the donation. American Werewolf in London. I haven't seen that movie in years. Five bucks in the square jar. Yeah.
Soylent Green. I've watched that in like 1984. I've seen that. I've seen all those older ones. Curtis D. Cheers, Curtis. Thanks for hanging out. Joshua Gage. She would just like it out of the driveway, but I don't have anywhere else to put it. Um, so, I don't know. I'm not getting rid of it, though. Dave's poems and songs. Cheers, Dave. I appreciate that. Make alcohol great again. I have not tried Harvest Host or any of those. Like, there's Harvest Host. Do I think Harvest Host, you might actually have to have, like, a full camper that has water tanks and bathrooms. There's some regulations on that, maybe. I might be wrong. There's also, like, Hip Camp is another one of those where you can find, like, private spots to camp. Maybe it's something I need to look into. Uh, but, you know, like I've said, I've said before, like, 90% of the time, like, I'm just... I'm going to go camping today and, and I go and I'll hit a grocery store and I'll find some food and then I'll be like, all right, where am I going from here? You know, a lot of the enjoyment I get out of it is just the spontaneity and going out and finding spots. Like the next video that I, that I have coming out, uh, that was the second spot that I went to that day. The first one looked great on maps. It wasn't bad when I got there, but it just, you know, I knew I could find a, a cooler spot and I'm glad I moved. I drove another hour down the road and I found a better spot. So red rectum hot sauce. That doesn't sound great. Yeah, Reagan Leonard for harvest hoes, it needs harvest hosts, it needs to be self-contained. Yeah. So I mean, if I had a water jug, you know, I can carry a carry a uh bucket of kitty litter or something in there if you need to but um yeah that's not the thing you know honestly at this point i'd i'd consider buying a small camper to take places because my wife would enjoy that better uh because she doesn't she's not into the truck stuff anymore that's why we typically go to cabins when we go on trips so having a little camper would be cool but i'm back into the same boat if i have nowhere to store any of this stuff uh, and I don't want to just pay monthly storage fees to have something parked somewhere. It's, it's just seems it's a terrible, it's just throwing money down the drain, you know? Lita battle angel. I've never seen that. Never heard of that. Instant regret. The chunky soup was definitely respectably spicy for being a mass-produced item from Campbell's. Jay Wallace, go RVing. Yeah, I've thought about renting and doing that. You know, we could do a, a trip where I rent a camper for sure. We could definitely do that. You know, that's been something that I've thought about a lot. I'll just write that down so I see it again. You know, I've talked about a train trip before. We'll do all this type of stuff. The movie RV. That's a good movie. All right. Let's crack open another one. We're going to do the, the very fragile one. So this is from Frank, Frank W. out of Ashboro, North Carolina. Very fragile, open the other side. Please open on a live stream. Well, yeah, that's where I open everything. Shallow cut. You got me a little worried about what's in here. Brandon P., yeah, renting is throwing away money. It's... You know, sometimes you can't get away from not having to do that at certain times, but I definitely don't enjoy paying to have my boat parked inside, but it just is what it is. You know, I could, my father-in-law would let me park it out at his farm, but then it's just a couple hours away every time, anytime I want to use it. So that also sucks. Rob 
Robert Toledo, any possibility for a Civil War historical park in Nebraska? Uh, I don't think we have any Civil War history stuff around here, to be honest with you. Um, I know that when I was down, like, towards the, in the Arkansas area for that video, that there was some, like, battle sites and stuff like that. But, uh, there, you know, there's only so much I could get into one video. So, but I appreciate the donation. Biodome is a great flick. If you guys forget about that one. Encino Man is one of the best flicks from Brendan Fraser. Weeds in the juice. All right. There's a box in here. Human centipede. My wife must be watching it upstairs. The human centipede, Smithy Wick. Yes. The funny part is, I said I wanted to see that, and my wife tracked it down, went and bought it in person. And then once she finally watched it, she was super embarrassed that she went and bought that movie. Uh, I thought it was a great flick. You know, yes, it was very disgusting. It's a horror movie, but it was a good movie. Dazed and Confused is, you know, that's a classic. I almost feel like they could kind of remake that now. Even though I'm not a huge fan of remakes, I don't think that would be terrible. I believe Happy Gilmore 2 is supposed to be happening now also. So, all right, we've got a, we've got a bunch of packaging here. You guys can see what we got going on. more I think this is it I think that's it you know I've never thought about just mushing up uh, plastic bags and using it as packing material but it's a great idea <laughs> the shining that's a great flick <clears throat> I've been to the Stanley Hotel uh, on the tour. Like, you can't film that if I remember correctly. But I've been on the tour of that. That was like a year or so ago. And uh, and that was a cool thing to see. And you can stay there or whatever. No deep cuts, no deep cuts. Where am I supposed to open this at? Just keeps going. Boxes and boxes. All right, we got a note. We found a note. And we got top here. Quady, I hope you like this diorama and see and see in it all the good memories you have shared with us. Regards, Frank. So there's a diorama in here. I'm scared to, I'm gonna like break it. You guys see what's going on, yeah? The missus has walked down and joined us. Hello. You can be talking on the phone over there. Huh? Are you talking on the phone? No, oh. I was listening. Listening to you. Oh, you got your ear thing on. There's a delay. Oh, check this out. <coughs> All right. Oh, 
It's backwards. Look at that. Here's my truck. That is my truck. And yeah, that's me sitting there. Holy <laughs> shit. That is wild. Look at that. Bill for Crazy Crady by Frank White, 229.24. That is insane. Can you see in the truck? Is there anything in there? My whole bed setup is in the truck with my cooler. Uh, that is wild. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. That is awesome. That is cool as hell. Man, Frank, I appreciate that. That is rad. That's a treasure. That is a treasure. And the tripod with the camera on it, like, that is so cool. It's literally me. There's no, it doesn't turn on. There's no lights or anything in there. Uh, I wish I could light up the back of that truck. I'm not about to take the, the lid of this thing off. But, like, that's, that's way too bright. Maybe. Wrong way. Yeah, you, you won't really be able to see in there, but my whole bed and the cooler and everything is in the truck right there. You'll have to do some good Instagram or Facebook. Yeah, I'll take some, I'll try to take some good pictures of this and post it on my Instagram and whatnot. So follow my Instagram and all that stuff. That's amazing. Appreciate it, Frank. That is really cool. Like, yeah, that's wild. Huh. Wife wants to take a look at it. Don't drop it. Don't drop my treasure. I picked this up from the post office. And yeah. All the yeah. It. Yeah. Ten stars, Frank. That's a hell of a unit right there. Hopefully. I can't say I've ever seen you wear red shorts, but other than that, well, it's spot on. <laughs> What does this say? That is really cool. Sorry for the intense wrapping. When you open it, you'll understand why. That's amazing, dude. Appreciate that. Feel like that needs its own shelf down here. That is so cool. That is really cool. Like I should use that. Too bad the, the next one is like a snowy overnight. The next video I have is in the snow. But I was just going to say, Arrow, you're right on point. I should use that. I should take a picture of that and use it as a thumbnail for one of my videos. Uh, yeah, that's cool. We'll we'll try to take some good pictures of that maybe tomorrow, and I'll post those on my Instagram, and I'll probably post one on on YouTube also in the community tab. But one of the van would be cool. That's the new Ford. That's the new Ford, and it's like. Fire. There's the fire. Yeah, dude. That's so cool. Yeah, that's Frank is the goat. Yeah. Too bad Frank's not in here right now. Jay Lee, shout out to Frank. Yeah, cheers, Jay Lee. I appreciate the donation. We do have one more package down here. That's the package from Jacob, which I'm kind of scared to open that one because I. Yeah. I'm sure it's gonna. He said he's. He said he was sending me a challenge. You got. I want that back. <laughs> see if you guys. Yeah, that's the new Ford right there. And you can see me sitting there. There's my tripod. Campfires going. Yeah, dude, that's as that rad. We'll we'll set there, right there, right there i be freely jacob jacob has sent in a few different things uh and jacob on the last live stream sent in a, a tarantula a, like a freeze-dried tarantula and i ate it and it was bad uh, but we got her done said and he said he was gonna send in something else so i'm a little and it's a big box, dude. I, I'm a little nervous to open that one. But 
Bonnie, yeah, best Easter basket ever, dude. That's that's just that's crazy cool. That is crazy cool. I'm not eating the other tarantula tonight. Freeze dried steak. I don't know. 402 Ventures, are we like friends on any on Instagram or something? Maybe shoot me a message if you can and see if we can maybe work that out. Chip Woods, a human head. It'd be like, what is that? The movie is that from Seven where he opens the box? It's like, oh man, it's a head. A bug charcuterie board? That would be terrible. Well, cheers, y'all. What's in the box? Yeah. That's about how I'm feeling right now. We're going to crack open a Natty Light. Faces of Death. Rampaging Grog. Man, I remember going to our local little little video store you know i'll be 40 this year guys so that ages me you know i remember going to the local vhs store and we found faces of death this like little hole in the wall store had it and we read it that thing it just completely screwed our brains up uh but now like you could find that stuff in two seconds you know online anywhere you want but faces of death back in like the early 90s mid to late 90s or whatever like that wasn't the type of stuff that you could just find that content anywhere. Uh, Laura Garcia, Easter dinner. We had, uh, what did we have for dinner tonight? Sausage, fettuccine dirty old sausage fettuccine Alfredo. Boost true mental. You'd love to have a diorama done with your fifth wheel. Yeah, we got to figure out, you know, it's too bad Frank's not in the chat. Frank could definitely make some money on the side making these for people. That's for sure. For all we know, maybe he does. Oh. Reno, any more thoughts on getting a dog or a puppy? I, I mean, I could probably, I could just bring one home at any time now. I just have to deal with my wife being mad at me for a while until she falls in love with the dog, which would take a few weeks probably. But until then, she's going to give me the stank eye. She's not an animal person. It's pretty much how the old one went when I brought the old Chihuahua home. Uh, so I don't think I have a picture of him down here, but I had a Chihuahua named Taco. And, uh, and, yeah, I was just like, I'm going to go get this dog and bring it home. And he needs a place to live out his last days. Yeah, he was old. I think he was 14 when we got him. And he mm -hmm. lived to be what? Or 12? Maybe 12. 12 and he lived to like 15? Something like that. I don't know. He was old when we got him. but. Although you made it sound like he was going to die like in a few months. <laughs> He probably would have if he wouldn't have got healthy. Maybe. Yeah, dog would be cool. Cat would be cool. I'd get a cat any day of the week, but my wife is like deathly afraid of cats for whatever reason. She has a cat phobia. So I'm sure she's happy I'm telling you guys that. Yeah, my wife has this weird phobia <laughs> of cats, so cats are definitely out of the question. Uh Brendan P. See, that's the issue is dogs can be very expensive. So, you know, I've got, I got friends that like every month they're at the vet spending a few hundred dollars on some stupid dog bill. And it is nice to not have that stuff. You know, we had some bills with Taco when we had him. He had issues with like joint pain and things like that. He was on medication and he had allergy medication and stuff like this. So, you know, it does add up. But a cat would be cool. I could get a raccoon. Oop, 
that that way everything is backwards there we go <laughs> they get a raccoon but uh the wife wouldn't agree to that one either but raccoons are legal to own in nebraska as pets PA Wilderness Adventure, just make sure you keep hitting the subscribe button. It happens. I, I've heard that happen across other channels, too. Uh, but just keep coming back. I appreciate it. Spider Monkey. I think you can have some sort of monkeys here. But <coughs> JP, her cat phobia is not for me. That must be your bro. Right? It is. He just right there. Me. I'm curious why he's so defensive about that all of a sudden. <laughs> I'd love to have a cat, dude. Cat would be cat would be great. Uh, and I like the fact that like a cat, you can you can go out for the night. Like the wife and I can go get a hotel for the evening somewhere, and you can leave the cat home overnight. Like it's a whole lot harder to do that with a dog. A snake. I'd prefer. I mean, you guess you could take a snake, but I'd prefer uh, something cuddly that you could take camping with you. I mean, and it, you know, if we did end up getting a dog, like it'd have to be a, a small or medium breed. You know, German Shepherd would be cool, but it's just too big. A Bengal would be sweet. <laughs> a little pig. <laughs> I accidentally took my cat meds this morning. Don't ask me how. A pity I could get a pit, dude, and like you know, you can go to any animal shelter and adopt a pit bull, but uh, I think Sheba would be cool. And Sheba is like a great size, it's a you know, Shebas are smaller than I expected them to be when I actually met one in person. Sheba would be really cool, dog. Um, uh, I like corgis too, corgis are cool, but. <laughs> I don't think I could train Travis. That dude's wild. Mason, I just got to look through my DMs and I'll I'll try to get back to you. Keep hassling me. I'm terrible looking at personal messages, guys. I usually don't don't look at a lot of that stuff. A pet rat would be cool. One of my buddies growing up had a pet rat. God, I can't remember what his name was. But it was cool. A dachshund would be cool. But, you know, you also want something that's big enough that it can, like, the, the problem with dachshunds, they, you know, you shouldn't let them, like, jump down from high distances. So, like, could it jump down from my truck bed without breaking its own back? Uh, so you'd want something that, you you know, that's big enough to run around, can get in and out of the vehicle by itself. Uh, but it's not so small that the first hawk that spots it, it's going to come steal it. I wouldn't want to listen to a pug breathing all night in the back of my truck. <laughs> you could leave a crocodile at home and go camping. A blue healer would be cool. Jesse, uh, growing up, my dog growing up was a Jack Russell Terrier named Scooter. I had that since like. When did I get that dog? Probably like 1992, 93 or whatever. Uh, so I had a Jack Russell growing up. Yeah, yeah, Laura, you can't let let a wiener dog jump down from too high. Like you're definitely going to end up having back issues with that dog. A beagle would be good. You know, I'd love a larger dog, like a retriever or a boxer or something like that, but Neve 177, uh, I could get a pet rock. Uh, I know some of you guys have said like, I just need to take, take Ted with me or I could take the little raccoon with me uh, and take pictures with him at campsites or whatever. But, it's also like it feels really awkward to do something like that. 
So Yeah, Joseph Doe, Rashiba's cuz they're, you know, it's a Shiba Inu is it's a desirable breed. Like you're not going to typically find one of those sitting at an animal shelter anywhere. <laughs> Mimi, we'll shotgun one before the end of the live. A pet plank like Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Mr. Awesome, just get a miniature crazy Quady. Uh, got my blue blockers on. Can hear the police outside. Yeah, mutts are the best. Like, if I was going to go get something, I'd probably, you know, as much as you'd want to get a certain breed, I'd just go to to the pound and I'd adopt something. Um, Jeremy had a pet rock. I told him I bet it was hassle-free. <laughs> Does not surprise me that your brother had a pet <laughs> rock at all. Pet rocks and eats crayons. <laughs> PA Wilderness Adventures, where's my favorite camp areas? The ones where uh, you got good trees and stuff to see and you don't have a bunch of neighbors. That, those are the good ones. Like stuff with good backdrops is nice. Like it, I, I, I enjoy camping all the time, but like right now having all the, the snow and or like not the snow on the ground, but the fact that all the trees are just brown, it's not, you know, it doesn't look cool. So I'm really... I'm really happy that everything's going to get green again shortly. See if I can get these back on there. Nope. He's going to have to chill without his sunglasses. Chia Pat. Just get a mannequin. Just ride around with the mannequin in the passenger seat. Get yourself taken to a mental hospital. What, did Jeremy say something? No, I just heard what you said. Oh, a jackalope. Arrow Brewer. That would be cool, dude. I'd go adopt a res dog. I'd have no problem adopting a res dog. All right. Let's get into this one here. So, yeah, this is from Jacob Hamilton. Who said did the last crazy stuff? And this is almost 10 pounds of whatever is in here. Try to do this without showing the address. Suppose I could do it from the bottom, but I don't know if I'm ready to eat anything nasty again. Yeah, there's just a live python in here or something. I'm like, ah, fooled you. Gotcha. God, I said buckle up. Oh, buddy. I appreciate this. Let's read this note. Now I'm going to have to try to to do this. I don't think this is as bad as I was expecting. <laughs> anyway. Hey, Broski, you're in your effing champion for eating the zebra tarantula I sent in. No, no creepy crawlies in this package. Summer is upon us, so I wanted to send you a package that will help capture your summer adventures. Just remember, trees and power lines are not your friends. I sent you this model because it weighs under 250 grams, so you do not need an FAA Part 107 license to fly it. I also sent the fly more package with some extra batteries, propellers, and a hard shell travel case for your rain and snow season. I suggest getting online and buying a DJI protection plan, and I'm always here if you have any questions. Also wanted to send you a ladder Damascus Bowie knife that I always kept in my backpack, so there's a pocket knife in there. And uh, P.S. I'll be at the Midwest Bigfoot Convention on April 26th. 
we might have to go to that in Grand Island. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, guys. So Jacob has sent me a drone. Uh, we'll pop this open here in a second. But if you if you were listening, it says it's under 250 grams. So you do not need an FAA Part 107 license to fly it. I do need a Part 107 license to fly it because it would be considered a commercial flight because I make a profit off of the footage that is uploaded to YouTube. Now, technically, like maybe I should actually talk to a lawyer or something or somebody that's truly in the know of this because when I talked to the FAA, when when somebody reported me to the FAA the last time I flew my drone on here, which I ended, end up, I ended up selling that drone. So I don't have that one. So we'll pop this open, but um, I can get the part 107 license, but I did start thinking about the fact that I don't get paid just for uploading the videos. I get paid because Google puts an ad. I get paid for that ad. So technically I might not need the license. So I need to really start looking into that, I guess, I just still can't and use this. Parks. But yes, uh, you can't film in any Nebraska state parks. You can't fly in Nebraska state parks. You can't fly in national parks. Like 90% of the places that I go to, you probably can't legally fly there. Uh, there's there's a couple of videos. There's a video, an old video on the channel called Why I Can't Fly My Drone. Um, and the guy from the FAA that I talked to said, technically in a state park, if you, if you take off and fly over the park and then land back outside the park, if your takeoff and landing is outside of the park, it's not a federally restricted airspace but Nebraska Game and Parks doesn't want you launching drones in the park. So I'm going to have to look over the rules. I mean, I think we've got to, we've got to definitely figure out how to use this stuff. I don't want to, don't want to put his phone number out there, but we'll figure it out. We've got a fancy old drone in here. Memory card. So it's smaller than the other one. This is the fly more kit right here. So this is like extra blades in a carrying case. Uh, let's see if we can just do this and this. Right here, we've got the DJI Mini 3. So it is a newer version and it is smaller. And it does have uh, its own controller with a screen. The old one that I had, you had to hook your phone into it and use that as your controller, which was kind of a pain in the ass to do. So this is really nice. And I imagine this one might have like the follow feature. The old one, like you couldn't launch it and say follow the controller. You would have to actually like do that. But like maybe I'll be able to launch this one and it can follow the vehicle or whatever. But so that's sweet. And that is definitely way smaller than the old one was. Uh, but we've got that right here. We, this looks like it's a just a probably a carrying case to carry everything around in. Lotto case. Oh, that's actually cut out for it. That's cool, dude. I appreciate that. So everything should fit right into this case. We've got a we got a nice card here. And last but not least in the box, we've got a badass Bowie knife. It almost looks like a bone handle, a Damascus blade. Look at that. Damascus steel blade right there. That's nice. What does that say? Delta Precision Force? That looks like a bone inlay or something on the handle there. That's a beast of a knife right there, boy. <laughs> Tell you what. Well, I appreciate this. Why don't we, we can pop this drone open and take a look at it so I can kind of show it to you guys. But we will... We definitely need to have revisit the regulations and stuff on flying a drone with YouTube. Um, yeah, I'll have to look into that. 
one of my buddies actually is running a drone business now, so it might be easy to talk to him about it. He's the dude I know is using like these big, like six and eight rotor drones connected to a hose to wash windows on downtown buildings, tall buildings. You know, it goes and sprays all the windows and whatnot. That's a knife. <laughs> yes, it is. Jacob Hamilton, man. Cheers, Jacob. I appreciate this. Like I said, I've really got to look into whether or not I need the license since I do make money off of YouTube. But like I said, since it's since I'm getting paid for an ad and not technically getting paid for the footage itself, maybe I don't need the license. I don't know. I'll have to really look into that. But I'll I'll uh, I'll get a hold of you. Thanks for giving me your number. And I might definitely meet you up at the Bigfoot convention. I completely forgot about that. I be freely use the Bowie knife to open the package. I suppose I could. There's a whole lot bigger chance that I'm going to cut my fingers off if I do that. But I am curious to see what this guy looks like. Here, we'll do it. That's a hell of a, hell of a knife right there. Move that off to the side. All right, pop that open. Got your little drone right here. And I know the license isn't super hard to get. 402 Ventures, right on, man. I'll check it out. Um, the license isn't super hard to get. You do have to go to a testing center, I believe. But it was just something that I never did after the last one. So, let's see. I gotta flip these first. Ooh, break it. Shablam. Shablam. You guys should flip out this way. Yep. Shablam. Shablam. And then I'm sure you gotta take the camera cover off right there. And it's got some sticky stuff on there, but once it does its thing, oh, it's gonna go this way. <laughs> once it does its thing, there you go. You gotta draw them with the camera on the front of it. Jeremy says we should get a turtle. Jeremy says. I think that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Mike's got a turtle. I don't have anything against getting a turtle, but I don't want to be one cleaning the turtle tank because they stink. Well, I don't either. Exactly. I tell you that I did everything for tacos. So. You say that. No, you're full of, full of true. malarkey. Full of malarkey. It's absolutely you could strap a GoPro on the turtle from the new angle footage. <laughs> like, all right, buddy, don't move. <laughs> you could be your camera. <laughs> I really dig that this came with a, an actual controller and you didn't have to, don't have to put your phone in it. That's fancy. Oh, you don't? That's no, fancy. no. And I imagine there's I think there's a couple antennas in here or something, or maybe that's just for uh, like a, a doohickey or whatever to hold it there. There's going to be some, some uh, joysticks in there, but yeah, that's a really nice controller right there. Really nice controller. Oh, there's the joysticks right there. They pop in the back. All right. Well, hell, Jacob, I appreciate that. I was really nervous that it was going to be something nasty to eat. Uh, a pet cigar humidor for the truck. That's, well, you kids can barely see it, but this is an old humidor from when I used to smoke larger cigars. Uh, but then I just got out of the Swishers because they're cheap. Put this 
in upside down. We'll just leave that out until we can put it into the case. All right. Jacob, thank you for this. I appreciate it. And the knife is badass. That's a hell of a hell of a unit there. And nice and sharp. That's like a that's an apocalypse knife right there. It's as big as my head, y'all. It's as tall as my head. That's a knife. That's not a knife. There we go. All right. Uh, I don't want to lose any of the packaging. Yeah, I appreciate this. We'll we'll figure it out. Now I have I can't make excuses on not getting a license if I got to get a license when you gave me a damn drone to use. You know what I'm saying? I think Kevin is working on getting the license. Is he? Yeah, you can bug him about it. I sold the old one to the homie Kevin from California. I am curious. I guess I don't know. I've, I haven't looked into these, but I am curious if this one does follow you. 38 minute flight time, 4K, quick shots, panorama, blah, 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 blah. Level five wind resistance. I think I even still have the DJI app on my phone, actually. If you guys are just coming in here, uh, now, make sure you vote on that, the the the, uh, the poll that's up top, if you guys can see the poll. Thursday, Sunday. Well, that's surprising. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys want me to upload, as we move forward, do you want me to upload every Thursday and Sunday, because we're going to add, we're going to try to do a couple of videos a week, or do you want every four days? Looks like you guys want every Thursday and Sunday. Which since one one of those will only be three days, you'll get more more videos out of that. You know, I wasn't sure if you guys wanted to uh, wanted to know exactly what days everything was going to be coming out. So I guess you guys have spoken. We're probably going to do Thursday and Sunday. All right, let me get this down over yonder. Don't want to drop it. The case with the perfect cutouts in it—that's rad. Yeah, I got to figure out how to use this thing. I mean, we can go fly it tomorrow. I just can't, you know, can't use it on a video quite yet. All right. I got your number. I got your number. Yeah, vote in the poll, guys. Vote in the poll. Let me know what you think. Every single day. I wish I could, you know, like I feel like I could do a lot more content, but yeah, you do have to have that time to travel. You know, it, it takes me a while to actually go film a video and then I got to be able to edit it. And, and I've gotten emails from people that like, you know, they want to edit the videos or whatever. I'm not going to, I'm not ready to do that. I, you know, I'm not willing to, I'm not ready to pay somebody else to do that either. So Gooch, man, Gooch in the chat. What's up, Gooch? Thanks for the donation. Gooch has been a fan for a long time. Gooch sent me some miso soup a while back. That's been a few years. There's a video eating of me eating some miso soup. Uh, Teddy from Guam. What's up, Teddy? Happy Easter. Lady Quady could film me flying the drone. Yes, and technically, if like Lady Quady was with me, she could fly the drone, give the footage to me. I didn't fly the drone, so there you've like passed that legality of of who's flying it. But it would be registered under my name. Like you got to, you have to register these things. You know, it's a flying thing, uh, so there are FAA regulations or whatever. But did Jacob donate twice? I saw Jacob's donations. Yes, we talked to him. Jacob sent in all the cool things, too, along with Frank. This knife, I, I can't get over the dang size of this thing. Don't accidentally sit on it. Don't accidentally sit on it. <laughs> Jesus. There's some faces of death video right there. You've probably never even heard of that or seen it. I hope you've never seen it. But That's a hell of a blade right there. 
I could probably shave with it and cut off all this terrible facial hair I have. Uh, Easter shotgun. We can do it, Easter shotgun. See if I can shave with it. I should shave. Like, I should just make a video of shaving. I'm tired. Like, I'm almost scared to shave it off now because I've gained weight. <laughs> And I probably, I probably don't have a chin anymore. <laughs> uh, I could probably shave with it. Shotgun the beer using the knife. I, I don't want to like, I don't want to break the tip though. You know what I mean? I don't want to go. I don't want to damage the tip on this thing. That would not be cool. That's a hell of a unit though. Ted time. You guys want to see Ted talk? What? KS, would I ever go full-time RV life YouTuber? I mean, I think I could probably handle that for like two or three years, maybe max living in an RV and not having like, not having a house or a home base. I, I, I love being out on the road and doing that stuff. But I also really love to know that I have a home base that I can come back to and like I can just come back and sit here for a week or whatever if I don't want to go anywhere. Uh, you know, you don't get that when you're full time RV life. And, you know, I don't know if my wife would be down is to that. Here? I don't know if Frank is on here. Uh, hi, Quady. Sorry, so late. I'm glad you like the diorama I built you. The, mm. the Cripo, Cripmona? Uh. I think his screen name is Frank White, as far as I know. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. What was I talking about? Uh, Full-time camp. Full-time RVing. Um, like I said, I think it'd be cool for a couple of years. But, you know, my wife has got a decent job here, and it's not a remote job. So, like, that'd be a big change you know, to do something different like that. Cause she's been working for this. She's been doing her job for 15 years, 20 years. How long have you been there? Uh, 20 years to all with both jobs together. So she's been working in the same spot for 20 years. So for us to just like hop up and move, uh, and do something like that would be, I don't know. I'd need a couple million subscribers to be able to finance that. Let's just say that. I mean, I would edit his videos if you guys can get some more subscribers. Yeah, right. yeah. He says he's Frank White, the Crypt Mona. And Crypt Mona, well, cheers, man. Thank you for the, thank you for the diorama. Yeah, I don't know if I could. If I could live that way uh, for that long. And, you know, like, I love doing this job, but Google doesn't pay for health insurance. So my wife has a, you know, a normal job that has health insurance. So I have health insurance. So if we were going to do something like that, she'd have to find something remote probably to try to keep a, you know, a, a full-time gig that has benefits, you know. We're 40, I'm 40 years old this year. So it's like, you have to think about having that type of stuff. But Rex 5150, what did I do before YouTube? So when I broke my leg and lost my job, which led into this whole thing, I was working for a uh, electronics manufacturer out of Lincoln here. I, I had worked within all the departments of that company, basically. Um, but I had left and started doing like private contracting and stuff on my own. I worked there for a while. I left and then they called me to back to run uh, one of the departments there. Like, I guess you could say run the department, but we did, we powder coated stuff in that department for, um, we made PDUs for data center, like data center equipment. And, uh, so I ran the powder coat department for a while there. And that's what I was doing when I broke my leg and got fired. But like I worked, I worked in production for a while there. I worked in uh, shipping and receiving for a while there. Uh, for a long time, I just worked in their metalworks department. Uh, 
you know, like I can do all the CNC stuff and programming and all that kind of nonsense. Uh, and I was doing programming and I had a desk job when I left and started doing private contracting stuff because I don't really like sitting behind a desk, at, you know, for eight hours a day. You know, prior to that, I was on the floor and, you know, not only was I doing a little bit of programming and stuff, but I was actually running some, some of the machines. And then it just got to the point where all I was doing was sitting behind a desk, which it's not bad. It's not bad. You know, the pay wasn't terrible or whatever, but I hated sitting behind a desk. I quit and started doing like pi private contract and construction stuff. And they called me out of the blue one day and asked me to come back to run this other department. And the pay was good. And I only had to work three days a week. So I went back and worked for them. And then it was like six months later when I fell and broke my leg and they let me go. So here we are. But yeah, we made P power distribution units for data centers like Facebook, Google, like our, the stuff that we built powered the data centers that you guys access every day. I guarantee you, like every one of you out there has accessed something from a data center from a PDU that I have touched, 100%. Um, so it was, a, it was a good gig, but here we are. <coughs> Life after YouTube. I don't know. We'll find out. See how long this stuff works. Maybe I, I think I've said it on almost every live stream, but I don't have any like, I don't have any delusions that this is going to last forever or whatever. So, you know, once this is over, who knows? Like I have the capability of decently editing videos. I tend to run through them a lot faster, but I could definitely hold a camera and edit for a different YouTuber uh, and do that full time. No problem. But you know, who knows? Like, there's all sorts of like internet stuff that I could easily do at this point with a lot of the things I've learned from doing this type of type of work for the last five years at this point. Um, but honestly, like I could go work at the drive-in theater and be happy. It's, you know, I don't know what everything's going to pay. Jessica Stone. Cheers, Jessica. Gas money. I appreciate it. Appreciate the donation. Arrow Brewer, yeah, broke my leg and landed on my feet for sure. I big shout out to the wife because she she financially backed me for at least like the first year until YouTube started making money. So if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Kyle the Killer, cheers, man. Yeah, insurance is expensive. It's it's nice to have it's nice to have that peace of mind to know that I have that. You know, it'd be. If I had to pay for my own insurance and I, if I was single, I don't know if I could make this work, to be honest with you. Like I bring in an income, like everything that you see me buy, the van and the truck has all been purchased with the YouTube channel and the, you know, the revenue from that. But, you know, I don't think I could do all that and pay a mortgage on my own and all my bills and health insurance and whatever. So split income is 100 percent helpful. Jessica, cheers, Jessica. I appreciate the donation. <laughs> Gas and beer money. That'll definitely all get put to use. Logan 1970. It wasn't programming like that, like CNC programming. I can't even remember the name of the, the programming stuff, but we, all of our, our machines were Trump, T-R-U-M-P-F, uh, metalworking machines, like metal brakes. We had a big, uh, like a CNC punch. We did sheet metal punching out, and then we'd bend everything up and, powder coat it and then it would go to our production department they'd put all the guts in for all the pdu stuff and package and ship and whatnot so i was programming like engineering would send me a print of what needed to be cut out and i program the machines in order to cut that stuff out appropriately you know and in a timely manner uh but you know we were selling a million dollars worth of shit every day so it was it was a lot to do it's I didn't hate the job. I just hated sitting behind a desk at the end of that before I quit. G code. I don't know. Like, I don't know what it was. 
Like I wasn't typing lines of code to program. That's not how the programming software works. Not that stuff. Yeah, YouTube takes something like 40% of our advertising revenue. You know, I I don't run any mid-video commercials, so I could do that double my income, but I feel like it takes away from the from the from the movie like I or the videos. I hate watching stuff that has commercials in between. Um you know, I've been pretty pretty against like sponsorships, paid sponsorships. I've worked with some local companies like Isol Power. You know, I've used some of their stuff, you know, working with all dogs. They provided the the leveling kit on the truck, which is great. But, you know, I'm testing out a new product for them. Um, and, you know, so working with them has been nice. But, like, they're not paying me to use it. There's no contracts that have been signed that say I need to post five times a week with their hashtag or some crap like a lot of the sponsorship stuff requires. Uh, but, you know, I've said I've, I've said I, I'm not going to completely say no because they can be very lucrative when you have a hundred thousand subscribers or whatever. Like, you know, I could add, give you guys a 30 to 90 second ad and they'll pay me a few thousand dollars for that. But just do the commercials. I just don't money. like, I, can fast forward. I don't want to, like, it's just hard for me to, to, to do any of that type of stuff. Uh, Cause I feel like it takes away from it. Like there's, you know, I've said before, like some of these videos you watch, they just turn into infomercials for some company's product. Like, you know, there's there's people that I enjoy watching all the time and then they'll put out videos like that. And I'm just like, I cannot watch this. The whole video is just some infomercial for this thing that a company sent you that like, I don't know. I'm sure people probably think some something similar about some of the stuff that I've done, too, but. Life is like a can of spam. I pee freely. I get emails from people every day wanting me to use their junk, but most of it is junk. <laughs> Who do you? I don't know. Like, you know, and as, as part of it, I feel like as long as I'm able to do this without taking on sponsorships, why do that and, and ruin the content? Like I'd be, I'd be okay with like product placement type of stuff where it's just like, we're going to give you this money and this thing and just use it. You don't have to sit there and tell everybody about it and give you like five points of the battery life on this thing. And then make sure you, you know, go down and use my code in the description and all this kind of stuff like that. I don't want to do that. Don't want to do any of that stuff. <laughs> Joseph Dover, Athletic Greens has hit me up. AG1, yeah, I could be running AG1 ads right now too, like everybody else. It's just, just not my thing. No, I don't want to shit on everybody else that's doing this. It's good for them. Like, it would definitely help to be able to do more stuff, but sometimes you can't just do all of that nonsense. <laughs> The Rex 5150. That's one of the ones I can't stand either. Like, I don't want to listen to some YouTuber tell you about how he uses this thing to shave his balls. Like, I think it's kind of funny, but I don't want to watch that. Now, there's some stuff like I've gotten, I've gotten multiple for e-bikes. Most of them are off-brand e-bikes, but getting a free e-bike to use in a camping video to like ride it somewhere in camp, that wouldn't suck. Cause those things are like three grand for most of them. So some of these I've thought about, but we'll see. But I think, I think we'll go ahead and shotgun a beer guys and probably get this one closed out for the evening. I got to figure out where I'm going to go camping this week and whatnot. But if you guys want to go get yourself a drink, and shotgun with me on this beautiful Sunday, Easter evening. You could do that. I'll give you a couple of seconds. Damn, Jessica. Cheers. I appreciate it. Uh, Jay, I use Jay Lee. What do you use for video editing? 
I use Adobe Premiere to edit videos. It works well. Uh, but there's a, you know, like depending on how, how much you're doing with this stuff, like there's decent editing software on new phones. If you have a new decent phone, you can edit on your phone. The homie Greg edited so many of his videos on his phone. I gave him my old laptop when I bought this new one. Uh, so he didn't have to edit on his phone anymore. But yeah, like you can edit, you could film, edit, and upload and do everything from a cell phone. You don't have to have a laptop. You don't have to have a GoPro. You don't have to have a big camera. You don't have to have any of that stuff. You can do everything with your phone and just start uploading. YouTube is nothing but social media. It's just based on a longer format video typically. But if you're posting pictures and crap on Facebook or on Instagram, you can post that stuff here too. There's community tabs where you can post pictures, uh, but you can just post longer videos here. So, you know, don't like put YouTube on this big pedestal that you have to have all this junk and whatever to do. Like there's a million channels out there that are small, that are doing awesome stuff that you just probably don't see. Uh, but anybody can do that kind of stuff. So, Indy, we'll get to Canada eventually. Still need to get dang old passport. You don't have a passport stuff over there? No? Yeah? No? We'll get a passport and get out that way eventually. I'd love to get to like, I'd love to get up to Alaska and all that stuff. And driving through Canada would probably be the most, most enjoyable thing. But, all right, guys. If you want to have a drink, we're going to, we're going to drink one now. That one looks like it might cut my face open a little bit if I don't be careful. Cheers, y'all. Ah. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Might get the burps after that one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream, and I think you guys have all spoken that you want Thursday and Sunday upload. So I've got a new video for you guys that's ready for Thursday, and we'll go out and we'll do some more filming, and uh, we'll probably get a couple more videos out. Ooh, give me the chills. We'll probably get two or three more videos out before we uh, get to building the new bed in the back of the truck. I'm waiting on a new mattress to show up right now in the mail uh, and whatnot. And maybe maybe we'll get the van out quick. Hell, I might take the van out tomorrow. We'll see. Maybe we'll get the van out. Definitely want to get the bikes out a few more times this year. I say that every year. Uh, just motorcycle camping and Taking camera gear, trying to film and do all that is a little bit more difficult on the bike. Uh, I've gotten comfortable in the truck and all that kind of nonsense. But yeah, happy Easter to everybody. Hope everybody is doing good. Tomorrow is April Fool's Day. Don't be fooled by everybody because people are going to try to trick you uh, and all that stuff. I appreciate everybody tuning in. I appreciate everybody's support. Frank, man, that's a hell of a unit right there. I really appreciate that. I'm going to try to get some good pictures of this taken uh, so we can post some nice photos of it. Jacob for the drone, man, the drone and the knife and uh, everything else we got this time. So I appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, a couple of videos a week from, from here on out for this. And uh, keep waiting on that birch, man. We'll get that stuff done too. So anyways, love you guys. Thanks for all the donations, everybody. And uh, yeah. Tomorrow's Monday. Go kill it. There we go.